While many of you were waking up from your New Year's Eve slumber, several new laws went into effect on the first day of 2020, and for that matter, the first day of a new decade. For starters, the state's minimum wage base for New Jersey workers increased from $10 to $11 an hour and will continue to increase by $1 an hour every January 1st until it reaches $15 an hour in 2024. It is also no longer allowed here in the Garden State for employers to ask prospective employees about their wage and salary histories. This law is intended to fight against gender inequality and promote equal pay for women, which Lieutenant Governor Sheila Oliver called a discriminatory practice. Also in 2020, a number of New Jersey communities will start banning plastic bags, essentially leaving it up to those stores to decide on alternatives. And in most cases, you'll pay more to get any bag for your groceries. Those communities, by the way, that will start enforcing this law include Asbury Park, Glen Rock, Paramus, Ridgewood, Saddlebrook, and South Orange. Now, in addition to these new laws, 10 others will take effect as we progress through 2020, including a bill signed Thursday morning by Governor Phil Murphy allocating $9.5 million to family planning services, Planned Parenthood, and other providers affected by the Trump administration's Title X gag rule. We will not let President Trump stand in the way of Planned Parenthood delivering high-quality health care here in New Jersey. We will not let the health and well-being of the thousands and thousands of New Jersey women who rely on Planned Parenthood be jeopardized. This is our commitment. The Title X gag rule, by the way, had forced family planning service providers like Planned Parenthood to withdraw from the federal program in order to protect the quality of patient care it delivers to millions of women and low-income families here in New Jersey. In Trenton, Phil Andrews, New Jersey News Network.